Hi everyone, I'm Amanda from Kid Museum, and this video is about using variables in turtle art. In coding, variables can be used to store information that can then be used in your code. You can change the information within your code as well. Variables have many different applications. In turtle art, one way they can be useful is when you want to change something gradually, like if you want to make a spiral that starts small and gets bigger. To create a spiral, we need to make a circular pattern that gets bigger and bigger. So we'll start with an arc shape and put it inside of a repeat. Remember that the radius is the number that determines the size of the circle. So we'll need the radius to keep getting bigger and bigger as the turtle continues to draw the spiral. This is where we're going to use a variable. Before we can use the variable in the code, we have to define it. In turtle art, when you create a variable, you can store it in these blocks called boxes. So I'll take out this store in box one block, and I want my spiral to start out really small, so I'm going to change this to one. I'm also going to change the angle so the turtle just draws a small part of the circle each time. For the radius of the arc, I need to put box one instead of a number. Now every time the turtle gets to this block, it's going to look inside of box one to see what's stored inside. So for the first repeat, it's going to be one. But then we need the number to keep getting bigger after each repeat. So I'm going to pull out another store in box one block. And what I want to happen here is I want to take whatever is already in box one and I want to increase it by a little bit. So I'm going to do that by adding a number. So box one plus a number. And I'm going to start with something small like two. Now I'm going to want the turtle to repeat this a bunch of times so the radius continues to get bigger. Let's try 50. When I press play, the turtle draws the spiral. I can change any of these numbers, the angle, the number that's adding to the radius, the number of repeats, and everything will have a different effect on the spiral. For now, I'm going to change the number of repeats so that the spiral fills up the whole screen. Another thing I can do with the variable is to get the color of the spiral to change gradually as the turtle keeps drawing. Turtle art already has a variable called color, and it's automatically set to whatever the current color of the turtle's pen is. So to start, I'm going to use the set color block to make whatever color I want the turtle to start out. My favorite color is yellow, so I'm going to put 20, which is yellow. So my turtle's going to start out drawing the first arc as yellow. And now I need to add another block here that will change the color for the next repeat. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to put color plus a number, and that's going to add to whatever the current color is. And I want my turtle to change the color gradually, so I'm going to put one. And now when the repeat keeps running, the color is going to keep adding one every time. And there you go. Now I have a rainbow spiral that starts with yellow and gradually changes colors as it goes out. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you're inspired to create some awesome art in turtle art. Thanks for watching.